Hello there, my name is Pavel Stelmach, and now we will unveil the top news of these days. The US Department of Defense announced significant new security assistance to urgently meet Ukraine's critical security and defense needs. This package has an estimated value of $1 billion and includes capabilities to support Ukraine's most urgent requirements, including air defense, interceptors, artillery rounds, armored vehicles, and anti-tank weapons. The capabilities in this announcement include RIM-7 and AIM-9M missiles for air defense, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, small arms and additional rounds of small arms ammunition, additional ammunition for HIMARS, 155mm artillery rounds, including high-explosive and dual-purpose improved conventional munitions rounds, 105mm artillery rounds, 60mm mortar rounds, Bradley vehicles, MRAPs, Humvees, logistics support, tactical vehicles to tow and haul equipment, tube-launched optically tracked wire-guided TOW missiles, Javelin and AT-4 anti-armor systems, precision aero munitions, airfield support equipment, anti-armor mines, Claymore anti-personal munitions, demolitions munitions for obstacle clearing, night vision devices, spare parts, field equipment, training munitions, maintenance, and other auxiliary equipment. This package will search munitions, weapons and equipment forward to support Ukraine's ability to defend its front lines, protect its cities and counter Russia's continued attacks. With their bipartisan support of Congress, Ukraine can count on strong and resolute US leadership to provide consistent security assistance support, together with some 50 allies and partners, to ensure its brave defenders receive the critical capabilities needed to fight back Russian aggression. Our entire cooperation of Ukraine and the United States, every manifestation of support for our defense now, strengthens both our nations and all our partners, the entire world that wants to live by the rules, not in violence and chaos. Now we will do everything to compensate for the six months that have passed in debate and doubt. We must turn what the Russian occupier has managed to do over this time and what Putin is planning now against him. All his actions at the front, all his attacks on our energy sector and infrastructure, all his terror against our cities and villages, all this should mobilize us, everyone in the world, who really values life, to put more pressure on Russia. It is very important to implement all our agreements with President Biden 100%. I would remind you that the US allocated $61 billion and 37 among them for military support in different ways. And another significant news became known today. According to the New York Times, Ukraine received more than 100 Atacams ballistic missiles from the United States in mid-February as part of a $300 million package. Why is this interesting? Given the few number of cases of use, the armed forces of Ukraine very rarely and very carefully used these missiles. In February, it was quite possible to imagine that this was the last package from the USA. And therefore, the missiles must be saved. But now we can expect a sharp increase in the use of Atacams. Germany and Britain declared that their common goal remains that Ukraine resists Russian aggression. Both countries are the largest providers of military aid to Ukraine in Europe and have bilateral security agreements with it and will continue to support it as long as necessary. But at the same time, they do not seek a confrontation with Russia. Germany and the UK are standing together at Ukraine's side. Our clear goal is to provide support so that Ukraine can stand its ground against Russian aggression. But it is also important that we, the NATO states, are not at war with Russia. The decision by the United States does not absolve us here in Europe from the task of further expanding our support for Ukraine so that the country can defend itself against aggression. Our two countries, Germany and the UK, make important contribution to Europe's defense and industrial base, and we want to further strengthen and expand this. We will therefore also set up a task force to create a structured and improved framework for military security and defense cooperation. This statement was made by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz after a meeting with British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who arrived in Berlin for the first time as UK leader. The leaders of two countries noted that in the near future air defense equipment, unmanned systems, artillery and ammunition 
means for creating defense fortifications and training the Ukrainian military will remain a priority in their military systems. They agreed to coordinate and strengthen their efforts and assets to the potential for the possibility of joint projects, including training. In particular, they will cooperate in the support of Ukrainian helicopters, which includes armament, maintenance and training of personnel. The communique says. Also, Britain and Germany are intensifying efforts within the framework of the Initiative on Air Defense for Ukraine and within the framework of the IMF. In addition, Scholz and Sunak state that they will cooperate at the bilateral level and in the G7 regarding the reduction of Russia's income from energy resources and from other areas, strengthening the enforcement of sanctions and finding ways to use the frozen sovereign assets of the Russian Federation in a way that it is in the framework of national and international legislation. At the same time, the German Leopards once seemed like a fantasy on Ukrainian soil, but now they are fighting the Russian invasion. We will remind you that the German government assured that the new Patriot air defense system will be delivered to Ukraine as soon as possible. Before that, the German government launched an initiative to find additional means of air defense that can be transferred to Ukraine. Russian propagandists are spreading another fake on social networks. TikTok is spreading a fake about allegedly preparing an attack on Kharkiv and Sumy. In this way, the Russians are trying to scare Ukrainians, reports the Center for Counter and Disinformation. As the head of the center, Andriy Kovalenko, explained, the first wave of fear propaganda failed. Kharkiv residents did not leave the city. Now Russians have become more active in the information space, but the enemy's attack on Kharkiv and Sumy is impossible at this moment. The occupiers can only imitate the border and fire. A strike on a TV tower in Kharkiv is also about panic, about a signal that they will try to replace with their own broadcast. Likewise, messages about an offensive are intimidation. After all, promises to increase the group of troops to 46,000 and equipment to 1,000 units are not enough for this offensive. This group will exist to pin down part of our troops, Kovalenko said. Earlier, the process of blocking tools for spreading Russian disinformation on the TikTok social network began. In Ukraine, so far, 24 channels that promoted pro-Russian narratives have already been blocked. Among those blocked channels were the pro-Russian propagandist Anatoly Shari, suspected treason MP Alexander Dubinsky, journalist Diana Panchenko, who left for Russia after the start of the full-scale war and had already made a propaganda film out Life in Occupied Donetsk and Mariupol. Let me remind you that yesterday, along with the aid package for Ukraine, Joe Biden signed the packages for Israel, Taiwan, as well as the law that regulates the work of TikTok. The bill signed by Joe Biden gives TikTok's Chinese parent company ByteDance 270 days to sell TikTok. If the company doesn't do this on the territory of the USA, TikTok will be banned from US app stores and web hosts that will support it. This will actually limit new app downloads, and this ban will come into effect on January 19th next year, or on April 29th, if the president determines that the company has made progress towards a sale. That concludes our today's video. Thank you for watching. Stay updated, comment, like and subscribe to our UETV channel for more news from Ukraine. Your support is it really matters. Goodbye.